Uh, problem? Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, you done? Over there? Uh, Whatever. Don't mind him, guys. He's, he's having one of his days today. Uh, uh, <laughs> and back to our scheduled uh, viewing. These two walls are completely done. We just got to do our caps tomorrow, which is going to be our pavers. The patio is going to come up on top of this wall block, so it's going to be flush with the patio. <laughs> are they done? Are they? They're completely done, but we still have this to do. Are we done? Why don't you take the floor, Chris? No, I don't need to. Jack is right. They are done. Inside the pond. Yeah. Outside the pond, it's not done yet. I'm just clarifying. Th yeah, I appreciate it. The communication and clarifying is key. Key. <laughs> We're gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We're doing pretty good. We gotta finish up this wall tomorrow. We ran out of block for today, but that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna finish up some things, and that way tomorrow when we come back, we can button up the formal side of the pond. He's gonna say something. The coral side of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Chris did a good job uh, doing this side of uh, rocking the deeper side of the pond in. Of course I am. It's the hardest part. Yes. His head's getting too big where he can barely fit in his truck. This is like quadruple XL talking cap right now. Yeah. My head's so Yeah, hard. I know. Born this way though. Yeah, Jack. good. I'm proud of you, you know? But yeah, we're doing really good. I'm working on the waterfalls right now, trying to get everything framed up. So tomorrow we get the wall done and get water in as soon as possible. That way everything will be moving right along and we're not waiting on the pond to be filling. We did get our tanks filled up in the back over there. So that way when we do get to that point, we just drop the clean out pumps in and drop all that water in here so we're not waiting on the garden hose. So we're doing really good. I will give you guys an update. Jack, what? I can't wait to see what you're going to do with the waterfalls. Oh, yeah. I can't either. I don't know. It's Thursday. Yeah, what, what does that mean? It's Thursday. Is it Thursdays? Like, like what, what's wrong with Thursdays? What's wrong with Thursdays? No, nothing's wrong Thirsty with them. Thursdays? Nothing's wrong I mean, with Thursdays. I know it's not a Taco Tuesday, but it's a. It could like, be Taco Thursday. You don't know. No, that's a normal day. day two we got a lot of progress done today we got this wall done over here and this one over here done we did not finish these three this one this one and the one below me we ran out of block today to finish these walls but it's turning out awesome and just look at how amazing this is turning out we got a fish cave down in there we got all this awesome rock work that is all done now and this is our wall down here so this wall is set a good two inches back from the drip line of the deck so you're gonna stand on the top of that deck and look straight right down and you're gonna see gravel you're not gonna see wall so it's gonna look really cool but yeah it is turning out amazing we just got a little bit more work to do on this side like i said earlier but we got our jets in so we did three jets we have one there we have one on this wall over here and then we have one over on this corner here so that's gonna allow the surface water to get pushed over to where the skimmer is at where to stand behind me that's all done for this side that we got done today tomorrow we're gonna come in and then we are gonna be forming our liner to flop over on top of our blocks here and then we're gonna lay a thin set of mortar on top of that and then lay our pavers that we pulled off the patio that are sitting right here so these pavers are going to be sitting across here there's gonna be a soldier course going across the entire edge of the pond so it's looking really good i'm really looking forward to seeing how that's going to be it's going to be super formal on one side and then it is going to be all natural on this side so this side today we got fish cave is done that's all out of the way so the fish can swim all the way back into there it's a good foot and a half back into that hole so that'll be really nice for predators to so they can't get the fish but this is looking really cool we got this peninsula all all rocked in all the edges are done along this side here and then that's where our skimmer is at so that skimmer is going to hold our four to seven and our three pl the three pl is going to hold the jets and then the four to seven is it's going to be powering our biofalls so it's turning out really good we just got a little bit more grading work to do back behind the skimmer but we're going to finish that out tomorrow let it kind of dry up a little bit considering that it did rain the last two days so that side is almost done but not quite a little bit more finished work and then over here we have this section which is almost done we just got to do just a small amount of rock work in that area there three or four rocks and then we're done these waterfalls are going to be super cool top one's going to be super simple just going to dump out of the biofalls just one drop into a pooling area and then it's going to crust around this rock here so this is going to be out of water it's going to kind of shoot down between these two rocks this waterfall is going to be a nice tall ribbon style waterfall and then this right side is going to be more of a crashy style waterfall where it's going to be shooting down into here swelling up in here and then splitting around this rock here water line is about here on this rock so it's going to look really cool kind of having all that crashing and turning and a lot of action going on back 
in there. So it is looking really good. We're in good shape for tomorrow. We're gonna focus on finishing the retaining wall, finishing up these waterfalls, and then we gotta do a big retaining wall back behind here to hold back all this dirt. So it's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. Stay tuned. Hopefully you guys have a good night and we will talk to you guys tomorrow. What is up everybody? It is D-Day. It is day. What day is it today, Dan? Or what day is the build? What day is today? My bad. The build? It's Friday. Day four of this build, considering we had a rain day. Ah, you are correct. Four, four, four. It is. It's Friday. It is Friday, though. That was the biggest thing. So today is D-Day for us. So we're going to come in here. It looks like we have a lot of work done, but thank God we have the bodies, and we're going to be able to hammer this thing out. So we're going to get a crew over here, finishing up these waterfalls. We're going to get another crew over here, finishing up this wall over here, and then whoever's done first is going to tackle the retaining wall back behind the bio falls. We're going to get that done. As soon as we get all that squared away, we are going to be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. So we have all this stuff over here. We have just piles of stuff kind of sitting out everywhere. We got a great out some dirt clean up the leaves a little bit make this thing look nice and clean for you guys so we get some nice shots so we got a lot of work to do i just want to give you guys a quick before on the last day of this build and that way you guys are informed on what we're doing today so you guys will stay tuned day progress update we got our wall done this is all done we got that wall is done that wall is 95% done we just got to cut some pavers in up against our soldier course and then we are done we got our waterfalls done we just got to wait for that edge we want to wait until the morning to see wait 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 everyone just loves talking but when I pull the camera out wait, wait, I... hasn't talked all morning long and decided to talk now anything else no, no. okay sure oh, no. okay hey, 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 hey. all right as I was saying but we want to get this pond running to check that edge make sure everything's all nice and good to go considering it is super close to the patio so i just want to double check everything make sure we're not gonna have any issues chris and jeff are working on a retaining wall back behind there doing a fantastic job and then it's gonna be clean up we got a lot of cleanup work to do we got to pull a lot of rock out of here and pull our mats fabric tools shovels ball carts wheelbarrows all that wonderful stuff out of here so it's one o'clock we want to get out of here at a relatively good time today so let's get going and kick some blood What is up everybody? Hear that? We got water running. Let me flip you guys around and show you guys what we created. So it was a small little pond that had a biofall sitting right where that biofall is sitting and another one sitting right here. And we transformed it into this formal slash natural pond and it turned out incredible. I mean, listen to how loud that is. That's on setting one. It's a four to seven pump. So that's only on 4,000 gallons of water. Just imagine on 7,000 gallons of water. The homeowners really like it on that one setting. So we're gonna keep it at that. And then if they choose to, they can simply come over here to our receiver that is sitting right there and they can just hit the plus button or the minus button to turn this thing up or down. So this thing turned out incredible. We have a 6,000 bio false feeding this monster pond. We're just sitting back over there and then which is being fed by our skimmer 1000 series which has our four to seven pump and our Surumi 3PL pump that feeds the jets. So the 3PL feeds the jets and the four to seven feed the bio falls. I'm really happy how it turned out, especially, I mean, look at how good of a job. I mean, we were talking about an inch all the way around that soldier course just being 
leads right over the top of that wall block. Unfortunately, you guys can't see it. It's a little cloudy. It will clear up in the next day or two, but this is a 30 inch pond that goes all the way down to the very bottom, all in this area. So the only shelf that is in this pond is right along, which you can faintly see off in the distance. And then that starts our natural side of the pond. So it just turns out awesome. Just the, the pond, the shape of it, the wall, especially, I'm really glad that was kind of a daunting task by everyone that was involved with it. We had Tyler was out here, JD was out here, and so was Dan over there. Chris Hansen was out here and Udi too. Everyone was pretty much a part of it. So it turned out incredible. I mean, just look at this awesome patio that they have out here. We just got to blow everything off, rinse it down, and then it'll be good to go. But just look at how fantastic this thing turned out. I mean, just listen to it. I mean, I'm sitting right by the fireplace and it's going to sound really nice at night. But yeah, unfortunately, he did not want any lights due to predators. He's had predator problems before and he did not want to attract predators at night. So we don't have any lights in here, unfortunately, but who knows, maybe in the next clean out next year, we'll be able to get him on some lights. Who knows? But you can see how well the jets are working. We have a jet sitting over on that wall there, another one sitting in that corner, and then another one sitting up against this wall. And that's all allowing water to get pushed up in the pond and then flow toward the skimmer where everything is getting sucked into the skimmer with all, especially with the leaves. We got here Monday, there was not a leaf on the ground and look at already. I mean, you can see the trees are just falling like crazy. We thought it was snowing the one day. So it was an awesome project. Learned a lot from this project, especially towards the beginning of this. And that's all that matters. As long as we're learning stuff every day, hopefully we're teaching you guys some new things here and there. But I'm really glad how this juniper is creeping over that entire side of the waterfall. Unfortunately, the homeowners did not want us to touch the plants because they are going to end up getting new plants and they are going to mix in some of the plants that they have already. So we got our post set. I wanted to show you guys really quickly on what the pond looks like because he's going to be netting this himself. On Sunday, he has a party and he does not want the grandkids to interact with the net and he wants the grandkids to interact with the pond. So we're going to set the net up. We're going to so we're going to tie a knot off that post there and then a knot off the deck and then we are going to tent our net for him. I should say he will tent the net for himself and then he won't have any problems throughout the season and then we'll come back in a couple weeks and shut everything down. So I think I covered everything. Just check out this. The waterfall has turned out spectacular. I really like how everything is just splitting around all these rocks. The water line is a little high, so you guys really can't tell, but the water line is probably an inch below that rock. Eh, probably like a half inch. It's just cresting out of the water now. It's kind of getting a lot of movement. You can see the bubbles from the water going around that rock. So it, there's a lot of action and movement going on with this waterfall, but I think that covers everything for this project. So guys, as I always say in every video, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave some comments down in the section. Let us know how we did. If it was terrible, if you guys thought, then let us know. If it was something that I can change, let me know. I read the comments sometimes, so feel free to leave your criticism. As sure enough, you guys will hear it in the video. You heard it from Chris and them guys. I can handle anything, so leave it in the comments and we will see what you guys have to say. So it is Jack, Dan, Udi, Chrissy, Chris Hansen, Tyler, and Jeff, and JD signing out from Team Aquascape. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for Team Aquascape video. So subscribe to our Facebook because we are going live every single day. That way the people on Facebook uh, can see what we're doing day-to-day -day basis and they're probably gonna see this before you guys see it so I don't think you guys want to see that so you guys want to go check out our Facebook channel so then you guys can see these beautiful creations that we create every single day on a day-to-day -day basis and you guys can see more of the tips and tricks on what we do a little bit more in depth and how we're doing them because sometimes we give that oh boy and you get to see this guy on every vlog because he's a cool dude that is true and Dan so as I said I'm signing out it's Friday we want to get home and enjoy this weekend hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. We will talk to you guys on the next video.